In this demonstration, I will show how to use a function uh, and how to get return values from a function. So uh, imagine a situation like what I have over here on the screen. I have um, an image. Now this uses make empty picture. If you don't know how to use make empty picture, there's a demonstration uh, on how to use make empty picture. And in this uh, example, what we're doing is we are adding a straight line using one of the JS uh, line drawing functions onto this image. Now, uh, to add a line, we need um, several coordinates. We need the starting x and y point and the ending x uh, and y uh, points. Uh, so that's um, fairly straightforward, and it will draw a line like that. Now, the issue with this uh, uh, code is it's always going to draw a line between these two uh, points and we want to make that more flexible. So you might think, okay, let's try to use request integer, right? So when you're using request integer, you will need to say uh, enter a number um, between something because not all values are valid. You can't enter negative values. Uh, so we have to restrict the x coordinates within the width of the image. So I will say something like enter a number between um, between 0 and uh, so 0 would be our minimum uh, so 0 and width minus 1 now I will need to turn this into a string otherwise request integer will not like it it needs uh, you need to join a string with a string or concatenate a string with a string alright so we do like that and now for the next one I have to copy it and paste it and then I need to change this to to height minus one, and then I need to change this. Um, don't need to change much with that. I ha I have to then have uh, height entered again for that. So if I have it like this, it will work fine. Um, so I'm going to enter the same values: um, one, two, or twelve, thirty-four, fifty-six, seventy-eight, and there you go. So everything works fine. But the issue here is um, I want something uh, a little bit easier to deal with if ever I want to take a number input. I don't want to uh, have to copy and paste things back and forth. So for that, what I can do is I can put, um, because these are very similar to each other, I can have a function called uh, get coordinate. And in that one, um, I will get a parameter called uh, minimum and I will get another parameter called maximum. So what I what I will do next is take one of these uh, request statements and, or request integer statements and then create a new variable called value because it's a general name it might be an x value or y value we don't know uh, so you can, you can name it something else if you like and then this zero uh, it might not always be zero, so I'm going to incorporate min, which is coming through as a parameter. So if you don't understand how parameters work, you'll need to look at how they work first. Um, and then this one is with minus one. We don't have with anymore. We will say max, which is again the another parameter, the second parameter. So this will very nicely show um, or ask to enter a number between minimum and maximum. So we want to be able to now use this in, um, in our main or our application by saying get coordinate. And we want to say 0 and um, with minus 1, which is which are, these are the two uh, values that we originally had for this. Now, the only issue is how do we get this value back? Now, I can't just say, uh, I can't say x1 equals get coordinate and it's not going to work just yet uh, and I especially can't say uh, get coordinate 0 and some other number like that uh, this will definitely not work um, you need to store the returned value and that's what we're going to talk about so we need to uh, we need to use the return statement return to get the value back into this one. So when this code is run, you now I have only made a change to the first one. I'll show you how it works. So this message is actually coming from 
um, of a function. So we enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, se uh, 7, 8. Uh, those are the random numbers. I not, not very random, but those are the testing numbers, and it works. So uh, now this, when when it, when uh, when the code is in, uh, when this statement is encountered, what will happen is this function will be run, and we know that um, this request integer will be run, and the value will be um, the value that the user enters. So when it encounters the return statement, what it will do is it will actually replace that thing with whatever the value the user entered. Now, if the user entered 12, like I did, um, this will be replaced with 12. So it's almost like this one becomes uh, or it takes the form of a variable, except you can't vary it. It just is a it, it just evaluates into whatever the user enters. So that's what happens when you say return. Now, if you don't put the return statement, uh, it won't work. Um, it will eventually crash when we get to that um, when we get to use that value. So x1 um, currently doesn't have uh, any valid value stored in there, and that's why we get that error message. So we need to have a return statement, um, and uh, we typically return only one value. Now Python and Jython, they allow you to return multiple values, but we don't want to look into that because that's not really the case in a lot of other languages. So now the one of the whole reasons why we do this sort of thing is now we can very easily reuse this code. So I can say height minus one for this one. And um, so it's much easier now instead of uh, replicating and ensuring that all the prompts are the same and they're consistent and all that. I don't need to worry about any of that. I just need to uh, call the function and it will do the job. So if I run it one last time, I can enter my values any way I like. Now the, I've been using the same values just to demonstrate that uh, the results are consistent, but just pick any combination of values and you get the output as expected.